Good morning, afternoon, if you're on the West Coast like me. Actually, pretty much anywhere in the U.S. is going to be afternoon, I guess. But, <clears throat> either way, hope everyone's having a fantastic Saturday. Or whatever day this is, if you watch vlogs. Alright, so I really want to get this belted up. And I'm hoping it doesn't take nearly as long as doing all of the assemblers did. All right, so let's delete the fog. And I realized I can't even really see it from here, huh? I realized that the train level for the battery factory needed to be higher because I needed to fit three trains in. I don't really know what I was thinking. I knew it needed three trains, but I only placed two. So, that's all I've done since I last streamed. Okay, so let's start this nightmare of figuring out where all this goes. Okay, so let's go back with the hover pack. <clears throat> okay, and let me pull up my. Let's get the spreadsheet handy because I know I am going to need it. Whew. Okay, so where do we even start? Um, I think just figuring out the easiest way where to plug them in is just honestly the easiest way to do it, and then figuring out how to sort it once I get up there. It's kind of how I've been doing it this whole time. I'm not on the right hot bar. There we go. That's the thing I was looking for. Okay, so if I keep the same... Kind of meld uh, method that I've been using. Let's see if I'll... Let or actually, how much we can get to fit in there? Let's see. And this is this is empty. So let's just start up here. Um, which way did I do this? I don't really know that it, it really doesn't make a difference. But I'm just gonna keep it the same. <coughs> I staggered them just to kind of use up the full tile. Because I don't think I can actually fill these up. But I realized that even though I've got so much space to put floor holes, the height is really what limits me. Unless I had, you know, space to go out to the side and, and burn things around, you know. So, um, let's just start with that. So... <coughs> So this is the farthest one over. So it's going to end up going to this one right there. It's just the easiest way to do this. Um, You know what? Temporarily, let's just turn all of this into concrete just so I can see where the lines are. And then I'll recolor back to asphalt. But... This will, I think, just make my life a bit easier doing all of this. Um, yeah, you know, let's just all this area that I think I might have to use. Just easier being able to see where this center is since. I want to make sure things aren't too crooked. Okay, so might as well just bring it all the way over since this is all the way up here at the top. So let's just run it on. Actually, we'll run it. Yeah. Right here. So it should be. Yeah, it looks good. Okay, so is this really a Mark 1 belt? It is. So since I 
have like no recollection of what I did last. Uh, let's just chase this down. Okay, so this is this line. All right, so it's rotors. So what is the best way? Oh, that's right. This is. Oh, <laughs> uh, that's too good. Okay, where did the. There's the hole in the floor. Okay, so this line. Wait a second. I'm kind of confused. did kind of go a little bit crooked. Oh, okay. This is where it splits off. That's why. I was just like, why is it merging? I needed less than one machine. Okay. This is all making sense. Oh. Okay. So, let's do this again. Let's just lay these all out so that... I know I'm going to use at least six I'm sure bummer well I guess for now that'll be good I don't feel like grabbing quartz yet okay so let's grab the shorter name okay so this is rotors at a whole <laughs> a whopping 4.66 a minute cool so that is going in, and this should be able to perfect. Actually, since it's like right there, do I even need that spot? Perfect. Okay, cool. So that's that's one. Okay, so this next one. I really don't remember what these are. In case industrial beams. That makes sense. I'm pretty sure they only went either upstairs or to storage. I yeah, I sent that to storage. Okay, cool. So, so I guess I really probably could have squeezed some storage into here? Hmm. Well. I'm not going to worry about that. So, this is... Yeah, let's just bring this all the way over to this next one. One, two. So, I think this is like either 40 or 50. One, two. Okay, how much was it? Um, <coughs> case industrial beams, in case industrial beams, 40. Cool. All right, so next, this one. Yep, we should just send this one back that way. All right, so it's Mark three. So, hmm. You know, let's just do. We do that, and then what if I? Is that gonna? Oh, that clips right through it. Okay, not gonna do that. So 
think, yeah, I think we do something like that. Although, oh yeah, I can't fit in there. Okay, so one, two, three. Now we're just gonna have to kind of do some manual belting to get that to fit. Although it still feels like I should probably just keep this as the lowest and maybe, maybe run this to the far back. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll have it like come all the way over. So it would only need to go yeah, right there. Okay. So if we do that and then so this is the line that it's on. Oh, anchor it. Okay. So that would be the middle. But I figure I might as well just run it all the way over. And then I need to go two forward. So that lets it go. Is that Nope, not the right height. There we go. So now, if I let's see, one, two, yeah, it is okay. So now this should just go straight in like that. Nice. Okay, so just because I don't feel like. Okay, now the question is what in the world is that? <laughs> this is such a nightmare. Oh my god. Okay, so it's coming out of this one. So let's trace it back to here. So rubber. Okay. So this is the rubber that's going upstairs, which apparently is a decent amount. Let's just type in rubber. And we are sending... Two seventeen point zero eight. Oh, two seventeen. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know why I'm just gonna put the full number in there, but we're doing it. Okay, so that's that's the overflow rubber. So that should be. This isn't set up. So straight. Is any? How did I? Where does this go? No. Yeah, straight as any, right as overflow. <clears throat> okay, and that will send the rubber to the next floor. Oh, jeez, this is just such a interesting chaos that I've created. Okay, so this one is sending any... And then the overflow is coming back this way. Just mark two. Okay. Trace this one back to concrete. Okay. So since I have so many of these, I'm going to try to build more over this way. Um, let's go with... So this was mark two. Let's go up to the ceiling. Let's put that in there. And where are you? Right on the line. Okay, so we need to go. So right there. And there. Cool. So that one is concrete. Actually. Right, yeah. Let's 
see, but it's actually... <clears throat> okay. So the next one over would be this one. Ooh. Or this one all here up at the top. I guess we should. Let's see if we. I could snake that down here. If I wanted to, it'd be easy to sneak that in there. Mark three, okay. Power cable makes it really tough, but thankfully with nudge, I can get in exactly the right spot without too much fuss. So let's just run this down here, line it up with this one, and go back to run it over here, and ah. Just clips into that ever so slightly, but I am never going to see it again. Hey, Tesla. Aluminum sheets operational. Quartz next. Very, very nice. It feels good to finally get that aluminum up and working, doesn't it? It's definitely ups the complexity. Oil kind of gives you a little bit of a taste, and then aluminum is, that's interesting. Okay, so what in the world did I just plug up? Let's figure that out. Okay, so this is coming from here. What are you? Aluminum casings. Okay, cool. So that was the casings. So let's go label that. <laughs> the nightmare of my logistics floor is <laughs> getting worse. But if it all works, I'll never have to come down here. So it'll be fine. Okay, how many aluminum casings are going upstairs? Uh, it's got to just be that, right? No. Oh, it's two things. So 228. Right? Yeah. Okay. Which would make sense because it was a Mark III belt. Nice. Okay. What was the next thing to plug up? This one? Yeah, let's do that. Um, so that's a. Ooh. Don't actually use a whole lot of Mark Fives going up to the top floor here. Um, how am I gonna? Yeah, it's one, two. So. Oh wait, no, I didn't want to plug that one in first. I want to plug this one in next. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I should plug up next. Uh, I need to rid of that since it's in the middle of the belt. Okay. So this is a Mark One. Let's change that. All right, so I don't have any conveyor poles here. All right, so I have this. Just need to find where. Is that going to be? That's going to be 90. All right, so let's just place it just to get the conveyor ceiling mount. Cool. And then just send this. Why did I? <laughs> I was staring at it. Oh, that's so silly. Okay, so just one over. Wait a second. That's not even lined up anyways. Second, what is this one? What did I do? Now I'm confused. These are all just like one meter off aren't they they totally are okay this is gonna drive me nuts and probably mess me up if I don't get things lined up right so let's just redo that okay so mark three into there and then you into there and then let's move that mount just one over. Cool. All right, and this is a Mark II belt. So you said uh, quartz is uh, next. You, so y are you gonna do with, like crystal oscillators, and then like the good old radio control units? Is that next on the to-dos? All right. So this, this, this. This needs to go one over. Okay, so, oh, that's right, I need two of them. Okay, so that is coming from this smart splitter, which I did configure. Okay, great. And that's coming from the bottom one right there which would be wire okay so we just hooked up this one should just copy the wire one silly me okay so how much wire is supposed to be here Nice. Just just barely fits on the Mark One. Fifty-seven point six wire going upstairs. Cool. And then all right, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Ah, perfect. We can just do that. There's nothing actually plugged up there, right? Okay. Nice, nice. So that means 
I don't need that one. I can delete that sign. Let's see, do I have more quartz up here? Uh, nope. Alright, let's just go grab some real quick. Actually, quartz is down here, isn't it? I'm thinking once I... If I can get that top floor belted up, I think I may finally start switching. Oh, I guess I gotta actually belt the stuff over. But... Yeah, I think I'm gonna actually start switching things on them, hopefully. So I can start deleting this stuff. I was just super hesitant. I just, I was nervous to delete. Let's see, do I need anything else? Let's get some more rods while I'm here. I didn't want to delete stuff and then all of a sudden it just be like a gigantic hassle because I'm like, oh. I'm like just shy of iron plates, but somehow I didn't get that actually up and working yet, and just create this weird nightmare for myself. But I don't really think. I think I've built enough that my storage would be able to last me until I got it actually working. But holy cow, come on. Once I get it all built it up, then I know for sure that it's just just around the corner getting it all finally operational. Holy cow. A little lag spike there. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go back to the upper pack. Alright, so put that away. Let's put the last three in here. Alright, so I think... Ooh, well that one's marked too. Nice. Alright, so that one's going to be the first. And then I'm pretty sure the next ones are all mark one, so... Alright, so we'll bring this one to... I think it's just the middle point. Yep. Is that? Oh, that's not actually on the tile. That's why. Ha! It's on a weird. Whatever. That works for me. Okay. So let's get Mark One belt. Just go two past it and same with this one one two Pull that one there and oh I guess I forgot that all right so let's what did I just plug up here so mark two belt is running all along the outside here. It's feeding into this system. Cool. So this is circuit boards. Okay, so circuit boards. Uh Apparently I need more than 60. How many is it? It is... Ninety-four dot eight eight. And... Yeah. Cool. Alright. And then the next one over. Wait. Yeah. Okay, so that's this, this first, 
Oh, I didn't realize that was clipping into there like that. Hmm. I have to fix that. Oh, autosave. Usually I see it coming. Every once in a while, it catches me off guard. All right, so that is this one. But it is not going into storage. So that must be the heat sinks. Yep. Is that how many I needed? <laughs> yeah, I need exactly five. Okay. All right, so the next one is five heat sinks. All right, and then the next one is follow this line all the way back. It is coming from this one, which is also not, I don't know. Ah electromagnetic control rods. That's right. That's how I split it up. All right. So electromagnetic control rods. That is a really random five dot Eight nine three three repeating a minute. Yep. Okay, cool. So now I've just got to figure out how to build these last three. That should actually be pretty easy. Okay, so we'll do the next one would be mark one. So bring it down to actually let's see so that's that's the next one and then this one which is mark one two and then finally that last mark five and I guess these could be in a better spot couldn't they ah where does it line up no I want it to be the same. Okay, this is way I can actually read it. Cool. So, if I where it is no. wait what no what happened wait no that's right Okay, let's just grab this. It's going to be easier. Okay, so that's centered. So if I go back two, and then I just need to drop that down to the second level there. And we'll do it from right here. So if it goes to here, drop it down to there. And then straight in. Well, <laughs> I guess that does kind of cover up. Whatever. I can still figure out which is which. Although it is going to bother me, isn't it? So let's... Is it going to be easier to read underneath? Yeah, probably. Alright, so... Ah! 
conveyor belt. What's that? Oh, okay. Much better placement. Nice. I like it. Um, and then... Let's figure out what we just plugged up. So, that is this line. Which plugs into here. So modular frames. many it's got to be just that one recipe right heavy modular frames yeah so good old whopping third of two nice okay so now this one which let's redo this Why did they? Why did they have such a short one there? Whatever. Uh, actually. There we go. So it's probably right there. Should be nice, nice and even. Two nineties, and then. Should be if I just do the same thing but two farther. Then this will line up with the next one over. And this was cool. And this one is just this one machine. Motors making five dot six six six. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so then we've just got this last one, which, let's see. Might as well just go two more than that one. Although, yeah, let's go with all right. So we're just gonna drop it down instead of going straight up. And then grab our ceiling mount. So if it's on the half mark, if I do this right. On the center line, then we can make a nice plow. If I got it on the correct side, it would be a nice ass turn. And then we can just drive that straight into there. Beauty. But I think I'm going to do the same thing. So I was doing with going like straight up and bring it down and then that way it's nice and straight. Very nice. Okay, so that is 
uh, it's gotta be quick wire, right? Yeah. I'm actually kind of surprised only one belt of quick wire is going upstairs. Did I do it right? This is where we find out if I did. So, requirements for upstairs are oh, 509.52. Okay, though. So, quick wire. Is it 509? Fifty-two. Wow, this actually was not as bad as I thought. Now the question is, if I is this actually everything that I need? I don't know. But we're just gonna belt this up, and if I need to shoehorn more in, which I did realize the other day that I I absolutely am going to because I'm gonna need to belt batteries through this they're going to need to go off on every floor and then continue to the next floor so how I'm going to do that I'm not sure but that that is a that's a future move problem we're just going to make those logistics towers just a little bit busier that's okay because as long as the parts that you can actually see or that are intended to see as long as those parts look cool <laughs> it's all worth it okay so this is where I'm gonna try to get the right belts and everything so it's just easier if I Uh, I will face that one that way. Face the windows. And this one can face outside. Mark one. Same thing. And... Oh. Did this one just not get used? No, it didn't. Okay. That works for me. Uh, we'll have it facing outside. And we can delete that one. Alright, just because it just looks weird to me. I'll replace this. <laughs> Alright, so this one face this way. And then these ones, actually, these ones will face this way. This one will face outside. Oh yeah, those are already in. Very cool. Alright, so... Now, let's grab our signs. And run up and down and do a whole bunch of copying and pasting. Because <laughs> that's just easiest way and that way I'll know what they are from up here so I'll just up and down Actually, pay some from pretty far, which is pretty nice. 
can copy them from nice and far. Now the trick is going to be not to accidentally paste when I mean to copy. And then be really confused in the future why something <laughs> is horribly mislabeled. That is the goal here. Ah, well, this one. Uh, should I move these up? Probably, huh? Can I see it if it's right here? It's still harder to see, but not completely covered. Trying to make stuff a little bit easier on myself in the future. Definitely learned my lesson, and signs like this pay off so much because it's not, well, I can't remember where everything is once factories get this big. Or which belts are supposed to be which actually copy there we go but um a big thing is then you just start working on another project and then another project and then it's like months since you've been to a factory and then you go back and you're just kind of like i i don't remember where especially all this logistics stuff is there the last three to label All right, last one. Bam. Okay. So, now. Oh, uh, yeah. Haven't really done power up here yet. So, let's drag this to here. Well, it's nice to see the manufacturers. Oh, I already put better. Don't um, don't mess with any of the conveyor floor holes like I weirdly did with the assemblers. Oh, 
that so far. Wait a second. Did I... Ah, powers... Ooh. Yeah, we're just going to bring that straight out to wherever this one is, I think. I'm not going to have it clip through all that. Cool. So that should be all the machines plugged up. Now, well, I just gotta start building things. So let's let's take a look at what they need before I lay anything down. So circuit board, quick wire, rubber. So, one of the nested circuit boards, too. I did lay these out interestingly, didn't I? Well, we're just going to imagine there was a method of my madness. And we're just going to do it. Okay, so what I'm thinking is since circuit boards and rubber, let's see, rubber will get used in these two and these two. And then this last one also needs circuit boards, so... know what I sh well I was gonna make a blueprint but you know <laughs> there's like 10 machines to do and they're probably all gonna be slightly different or like two of them are gonna be the same at a time so maybe it's just not worth it all right so I'm gonna do I'm gonna do circuit boards on this side on the ground and I'm gonna do rubber on this side on the ground. So that also means I just don't need this fourth one. So let's just remove it and not confuse myself. And what was the top? Uh, oh, quick wire. Which I'm sure will get used. I know it gets used in one other thing, so let's just run it on this side. Question is, have I messed with... I did mess with the clocking. I mean, sure, I made it even, but is that actually how I wanted it to be? <laughs> because I don't know if that actually makes sense. So I am making twenty 
12.84. You know, yeah, we'll just use overflow <coughs> and just make things simpler on myself. I'm not going to worry about it. So let's just. Orange quick bar. 179. So that is a Mark III. So this one's also quick wire. Of course, circuit boards are on this side. And I'm blind. Where did I put it? Where did it go? I mislabeled one of these, didn't I? That last one. Am I blind or did I not? Yep. Didn't get that one right. Cool. Okay. Okay, so I need circuit boards, quick wire, and rubber. The nice thing is, I don't have anything going up above this. So I can use the whole space. So for the third row, wait, two, three. Oh, yep, it's beams. Do I might have those here? Do I ever? One, two, three, four. And you know, I can do that with all these, really. So, mark one, mark one, mark two. Quartz crystal. Nice. Are you making a whole bunch of it for... Yeah, it's probably either well, some sort of electronics, right? It's 228 would be Mark III. And wire would be Mark I. Cool. Two. So mark three. One, two. And mark five. One, two. Okay. Nice and organized. Now how to get it to where it's supposed to go. At least I've got just tons of space up here, so I'm really not too worried. Uh, 
Although, let's put in... Put in our doors, so hopefully I don't accidentally block it for no reason. Just trying to make it usable. Okay, so I was going to do rubber first, so even though <laughs> it's all the way back here, let's just do it. So let's mark three. So let's bring it out. Let's give it two tiles. So I think rubber's needed for one more thing. I don't remember. Oh, the uh, crystal oscillators. Uh, that's somewhere. Oh, actually, I think... Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's why I'm doing it on that side. I think it's the ones on the last row. Okay, so circuit boards... Let's have you come all the way out here. I'm just going to have it come to there. And I'm out of reinforced iron plates. And this ah, does not have it either. Okay, let's free up a little bit of space. Don't need all that concrete. Yeah, that'll be enough. All right. How about the other belt supplies? Maybe some regular. Yeah. Definitely some more regular plates. Oh, there's no power there. So, let's free up a little bit more space. Two more stacks of those, and then just fill up with that. Oh, I really want to start deleting this stuff so I can get this all up and working. It's going to be so nice. Get rid of all of that mess. Silica, ooh, 300 a minute. That's a good amount. What do you, is that for more, more aluminum? Or you just want to make, it's a lot of windows you can make, that's for sure. And then an aluminum casings. Yeah, there you go. Nice. All right, so this is circuit boards. Ah, then supercomputers. Very nice. What I don't even remember. <laughs> I have I have a machine that's gonna make them. I don't remember which recipe. Oh, I think I'm using the weird. I can't remember what super state computer or something. I think I'm using this one. Just because I'm planning on making batteries and sending them in here, so I figured why not. And I'm gonna be making some electromagnetic controlled rods too. Because honestly, I. Is it the high-speed connectors? One of these is like a giant pain in the ass. Like it's simple, but for whatever reason, I always find it to be a pain in the ass. Is it the, 
I think it's the high speed. Yeah, because the other ones are just copper. Yeah, AI limiters are just copper sheets and quick wire. Yeah, it's the high speed connectors are always just. I don't know why. Okay, and then what was the the top one was quick wire. Where is that? I'm just going to delete that because I know it's going to be in the way. So quick wire was... Okay. So right here. So we'll just have it come straight out. Trucking in quartz soon trains. Ooh, so are you actually, like, using trucks to bring in the quartz? Because I actually... I, I love the vehicles. I think they're so much fun. They're <laughs> super... They, they definitely have their own quirks and issues. Um, but, like, I love seeing them drive around. Every once in a while you see them fly around. But they, they can be really efficient as far as... Um, like, their throughput and everything. You can, you can transport quite a bit with vehicles had to build a road to do the dunes yeah that's understandable are you all the way out in the um are you in the rocky desert or all the way out in the dune desert either way it it does it just makes it so much smoother and then i know you aren't on it yet but when update eight comes for you the um Actually, I can just build one I forgot. No. Let's get out. Where is the... Oh, yeah, workbench. There we go. Does it... Oh, it does run off that. I forgot. It can run off anything. The update 8 made driving on foundations, like, way smoother. So you don't get... I mean, I'm still getting a little bit of stuttering, but you don't get the weird, like... Like, it's not completely driving on top of the foundation. Like, it does that weird, like, like, <laughs> like, I don't know, even, I can't even demonstrate it. But it just drives so much smoother in the uh, the next update when you finally get it. So, um, yeah, it's pretty great. The vehicles are really cool. And do you know what that reminds me? There's actually one last thing in the awesome shop that I haven't unlocked yet and let's see if I have the tickets for it I don't know if you know this this is it's a little bit of a hidden gem wait I don't want to actually throw away any of this stuff dang it ah where's my bin uh there we go. Okay, so let's see. Do I have enough? Oh, holy cow. The answer is yes. So, if you, because this is the only way to do it. Oh, it's not fun if we don't get to see it, right? Uh, oh, man. I actually need more than one space. Because I need to split the stack. Okay, so if you... Ah, hold down right-click. I can split off one ticket. And if I put that one ticket back into the awesome sink, it's a little hidden gem. It also only works if you actually power on <laughs> the awesome sink. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Smooth. 
Fixit Incorporated. There we go. <laughs> as a reward for your creative input, I have been given permission to grant you a gift. You can find it in the awesome store. I hope you like it. It was my first solo project. All right, Ada. Let's see what your first solo project was. Is whatever. So let's let's do a double check and make sure we've gotten everything. Yep, yep, yep. And specials. The good old cyber wagon. <laughs> Man, it's twenty. I thought it was only ten. It doesn't matter. We're buying it. Oh, that's right. The fix it check mark. <laughs> it was an April Fool's uh, thing that they came out with, and then they actually added it to the game, which is so funny. So I'm just gonna. I, I mean, I might as well, right? I don't actually know where it shows up. I think it only shows up if you're in like a multiplayer game. Okay, so um, I don't want these tickets. So I think. Oh, does it actually need tickets to print? What a bummer. Oh no, my alarm. Ah, I need to. Oh man. I didn't want this ticket. Yeah, I think there actually needs to be a ticket in there for me to hit print coupons, and then I can actually add those so I don't have to carry them. Um, but because I don't want to lose them, I'm just going to run them back to my hub for now. Oh, yeah, I still have fly on. Oh, well. So I'm going to drop these off in my hub, and then I need to AFK just for my two minutes. I need to go feed the cat. So let's, let's find a good view of everything. There we go. And ah. can I actually alt tab? There we go. And let's just bring this up to there. We go. Oh, I guess no, not the game. Neither text. There it is. Okay. Be right back in just a minute.
Okay. I'm back, so let's... Drag it to the bottom. There it is. Right, good enough. Okay. So, should be back in action. OBS, you're so weird sometimes. Alright, so. Should I drop those? Okay, I did, right? Yep, I'll take this one there. Cool. So, let's get back to it. And I haven't even built my new toy last time and it only needs 10 you get the square wheels and everything we'll drive it down this because it's so awful <laughs> but it looks so cool with the uh, the sweet crashed window and your player model actually uh, sits underneath the car for some reason uh, I think was hoping that was something that maybe they would fix with update 8. I think it's funny. And you get a whole one storage slot. So super useful. And wow, it's actually really smooth on foundations. And it's, oh my, I forgot how light it is. It actually goes really fast. Well, this didn't quite go to plan. Well, maybe I'll have to have fun with that later. It's because of the square wheels and how foundation driving was in the past. It was like super awkward to drive. But that actually wasn't so bad. It was pretty smooth. I mean, it's still kind of useless. It goes like way slower than the Explorer. So this isn't the floor I'm on anymore. Yeah, that's right. We're up here now. Cool. So I think. Let's grab this. Nope. That's right. Doesn't reach the whole way. Halfway mark. Cool. So there's the quick wire. Alright, and I think. The next two are crystal oscillators, so they need the rubber, and that's that's it. So the rubber, that was the one in the back, right? Yep. So splitter. And then, so the first one is going to be rubber. Cool, right on the line. Alright, and then, how much rubber are they taking in? Yep. Mark 1 lifts are good to go. Cool. And then, yeah, you know, let's remove the fourth one again. Not using it. Okay, so rubber is coming from here. Oh, I was wondering. I was getting the, like, swimming sound effect. I thought it was part of the song, but it was really tripping me out. Nope. I think the game just a little bit bugged there. Weird. Okay, let me bring up my spreadsheet again. That's just easier. 
Okay, so I need quartz and AI limiters. Wait, did I make the AI? The AI limiters were down below. Did I? I don't remember belting those up here, though. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> I did forget one. I knew it was going to happen. Okay, so there's motors, reinforced iron plates, there's the quick wire, modular frames, AI limiters. Okay, so you went into here. And you came, okay, so this is just, oh, that was a splitter that, wait, what? Oh, whoops, I'm looking at the wrong thing, aren't I? Uh, I got confused. AI limiters, go from here to here to here to here. Oh wait, yeah, splitter, splitter. Oh, okay. Here, oh, because they're being made here. They come out here. Those ones go. Oh man, okay. <laughs> Just trying to track this all the way back. See if I can figure out what in the world I did. So, anlimiters. So yeah, just two machines. So those came down in here and then they split off there and there. So this one, this one I actually want to be a smart splitter. So that goes there, that connects to that splitter, and this goes into there. Okay, so that way we can do any uh, any overflow. So the last thing to fill up will be my storage, but that means that everything else, <coughs> I'll be able to make sure everything else is up and running first, which is the important part. I really don't need that many AI limiters. And at the end of the day, if I did my math right, it should just all work out. Famous last words. Okay, so should I just probably bring it out to here? This seems like the biggest open spot, and then I don't have to try to weave it into here and rearrange every single belt that I've done, which seems like a nightmare. And I can probably just bring it into the third spot down there. I think that is going to be the easiest way to get those up. So, let's go with a lift, and let's just smack it right here in the middle. And we'll go up to the top. Make sure we get it facing the right way. All right, so, run this over here. Okay. 
guess. Let's do it right here instead. Yeah. What's wiggling around I have to do? All right, so plug it up to there. And now, let's lock it in place and take a look. Nice and straight. So, with this one, let's work a little bit backwards here. So, bring that down. Wait. Like is that? That isn't gonna work, is it? Because that would just cut right through that thing. So yeah, and I also, I can't move that over. Um. Uh, so. I mean, I could, I would just have to belt it on the inside of here. Which I guess wouldn't be the end of the world. Or what's more important, messing up my pattern? Yeah, because it would be the only one out of my entire system that wouldn't... That wouldn't match, so I just can't be having that. It's silly. Oh, wait. Oh, no, I mean, even though they're like one meter off. Yeah, they are. But that's okay. Okay, so instead we'll have it. It's got to come out under. This this one would be the closest. Okay, so. Super awkward, but with nudge, I can just force it. It's into the right spot so place that there and there and there and now this should make a nice right angle right into there so now oh they are like Weirdly overlapping, aren't they? So, but this one isn't really set in stone. So, let's just move this back a little bit. Let's, let's just move it all the way up to here. Should put it right here. Nope. There. Nope. Although I don't really know why I'm can just make it. turn all 
Okay. So now that has plenty of room. Although now I can move it over even farther. And I don't see why not. Okay, so now... I'll probably be able to just drop it down, actually. I think... Uh, if I bring this to, say... Here. No, farther. To there. But of course. like no way that that would end up being a usable spot it's okay these ones I'm just gonna delete I just want to get around the lift all right clean up some of these because there don't need to be that many supports. It's fine. Okay, so that gets the AI limiters. <laughs> wow, do I even. Can I even squeeze through here somehow? I'm gonna get trapped, aren't I? Come on. Ugh. Okay, so I just brought those in there to a spot that I'm just not gonna be able to see. Let's put it right here. Okay, so this is AI limiters, and there are how many? A whopping nine. Why am I having the hardest time clicking? There we go. Cool. Well, there's one. Let's see if we forgot anything else. Or if I'm going to be lucky and that's the only thing that I forgot to build up here. Okay, so yeah, limiters need to go So that's right, I'm doing crystal oscillators. So it's the quartz and those AI limiters. So quartz and AI limiters. Okay. How much quartz? I mean, that's Mark II belt, right? Yeah. And 
also those. that one. There we go. So, bring that there, bring it to here, and we're actually just going to stick a lift on there. Or... Yeah, we'll drop it to... <clears throat> yeah, actually, let's just run both of them on the ground. I think. So this one is going to come to here. Uh, wait. I'll have it face this way. Okay. So this one is the uh, limiters, and we'll have this one run alongside of this one. This is R2, right? Yep. Okay, so let's run this one straight along here. So, let's see, do we have it right on the line, we have it plug in there, we should be taking like what, 45, aha, so this will come to here, Go in there, and the remaining bit will move on to here, which, of course, it's not going to make it. So, I'll have it stop there. And actually, I could probably. Oh, that's right, because it's. I can get it to work, though. Oh, but it's even with all the rest. Yeah. Just because I'm a sucker for wanting to keep it even, we'll just keep using the splitter. Even though I don't really need to. Alright, so this one's got to go to the halfway mark. And now there. Cool. So that is the quartz crystal for the crystal oscillators. So now I just need... Oh, yeah, I should probably put the splitters down first. This will be the AI limiters. So let's plug these back up. Go 
one more lift going. And let's bring AI limiters all the way down. <laughs> this floor is going to take absolutely forever to fill up. Everything moves so slow. But that is a okay. And there we go. So that is the crystal oscillators. So let's see. I'm sure this uses one well, like the circuit boards. Circuit boards. And the quick wire. So This was rubber, so I know. <coughs> well, if that's rubber, then this has got to be. What do the computers use? <sighs> Circuit boards, quick wire, rubber. Okay, so yeah, these two lines actually need to make it all the way over there. Uh. There was probably a better way to do this. Um, It's fine. I'm overthinking it. <coughs> Actually, let's move this all the way to there. I need an additional 2,000 megawatts of uh, fuel power before I do any more manufacturing. Oh, man. That is rough. I know that feeling, though. But that is... That is... This is the story of this game, it feels like. Uh, battling. Battling with power. So, does anything else use this quick wire, or can I just dump the rest of it into here? It's just the. High speed connectors and the computers. Cool, so I can just dump the rest into here. Uh, that's going to be this one. Two. I've been keeping an eye on my power. And I have like a rough idea of how much I'm going to use. Um, so I'm pretty sure I'll be able to get this whole factory, the new oil, and a giant new aluminum factory all up and running on the current power grid. And then I'm going to need to expand oil before I could actually build any other big projects, which is a bummer because it would be nice if I could just complete the last couple 
projects that I need to be able to get into nuclear, but it's probably just not going to happen. Okay, so these... Oh, wow. it's only so by the time it's going to the high-speed connectors this actually only needs to be like two there's only 90 going to that machine so let's just make it make it mark two because that'll still still overflow And then I think it's like a whopping five circuit boards. Nice. So if I bring this one, wait, how do I want to do this? Yeah, you know what? Let's go to here and lift it up that one spot. S and we're just gonna bring it all the way down. Yeah, we'll just line it up with these ones. And then, let's get rid of that again. So silica. Is this the only thing I need silica for? Because that would be cool. It is. The 62.5. Nice random number. Um, of course, it's in like the back corner so I, you know what? We're just going to run it. We'll at least keep this machine nice and even. That's what we're gonna do. So I think where are we? There's the silica. I think it'd just be easiest to run this out on the top because I think if I do 
this and then this. One, two. Make sure it's one, two. Is this in the right spot? Ooh, there we go. Nice and straight. Let's, let's just replace that. So. Cool. So that gets the silica over there. So, bam. First row done. That well, wasn't too bad. Okay, so. Oh. Does the two train docking stations have their own storage slot capacity? Two train docking stations. Oh, like both um, fluid and solids, freight and the fluid freight. Yeah. So the it doesn't say. They do. Let me tell you how much it is because honestly, off the top of my head, I couldn't tell you. I don't remember. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, what is that? 42? I mean, 48. So, yeah, which makes sense. So, these hold 48 freight cars have a. Oh. I can't show you, but it, so freight cars, you use them for all. It doesn't matter if it's going to be using the freight platform or the fluid platform. Freight cars move both. So either 1,600 meters cubed or 32 slot capacity. So this is where if you want to start doing <laughs> the math for like how much you can hold in your freight car depending on like your round trip because that's really kind of what determines it is the round trip and the belt speed and all that jazz so this is where because it's by slots and not by actual amount or anything so keep that in mind um because certain things like obviously concrete stacks to 500 whereas ingots i believe are only 100 um same thing with like just the straight up ore is only 100 so the difference between whether it stacks in 100 or 200 makes a pretty big difference when you're moving it by train and you're talking about like per minute how much you can move and all that jazz just another uh thing to add to the complexity of everything you know <laughs> So yeah, you'll basically, even though the train station can hold, has 48 slots, unless you're going to have multiple trains stopping there to pick up stuff, you're going to want to make sure that you can empty one like freight car in the amount of times it, it takes to do one round trip. And if you can do that, you'll be fine. So supercomputers are where things start to get more complicated, isn't it? Now I need four things. So that's radio control units, radio control units, the heavy modular frames, heavy modular frames. So these probably share nothing, right? Aluminum casing, crystal oscillator, computer. Computer control rods, batteries. Mm, yep, I haven't, I haven't figured out belting those yet. Supercomputers are gonna be like the absolute last thing to get turned on. That's okay. So, uh, all right. 
things that are coming. Okay, so all of these are coming from over here. But are any of those used in anything else? Does it just plug straight in? Wire. Awesome. Wire is only going in here. Electromagnetic control rods are unfortunately used in two things. Darn. And that's sort of the computers. Okay, so those first ones are the computers. Oh no, this is where it's super awkward because I can't. Ah! And it doesn't reach, but. Well. It's just got to look funny on one side. So, what I'm going to want after that is the correct hot bar. So, I want a smart splitter. And we're going to run this, yep, right in the middle here. Once I can figure out. That looks lined up. All right, so... There we go. Okay, so any is going to be to the left overflow, which is going to be my storage, is going to be over here. So we're just going to set up the storage as we go for this one. So let's get it. Just have it be actually lined up. That'd be cool. Or can I? Where is that? Yeah, it's got to be right there. Okay, so... Now let's get the... Oh boy. There we go. Let's get a splitter going. Um, Where is this coming from? Okay, so it will come from the side. So we're going to have this splitter just way up at the top here. Oh. 
Oh, that wouldn't fit. I'm surprised it connected. Is that really? Well, I don't know. It looked really weird last time. But, okay, so that is the computers, which also are needed in... What is that lining up with? So these. Radio control units. Um, I'm not making that many, right? Yeah, it's 1.85. Three and four. That's, yeah, sounds about right for the end manufacturing. <laughs> I mean, I keep forgetting that running things on the top here looks just super awkward. Because that one meter gap. I think for the, my bigger factories, I'm just going to do four floors for logistics. <laughs> Just because I managed to make things cramped enough, I might as well give myself more space. So I think I'm going to do 16 meters in the future. Uh, okay, so that was the computers. And then... Ah. Yep. Gotta do this weird stuff. That's what I get for running it on the ceiling. Okay. Which isn't great because now I've created like a little wall here that's not fantastic. Well, I hope that doesn't cause me any issues. <laughs> So this needed wire, electromagnetic control rods, and the batteries that I haven't built it anywhere yet. So let's just do everything else. And this is really hard to read. So control rods are, of course, this one. <laughs> everything needs to crisscross each other. <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm just going to have to go up and over, I think. How many are these? Oh, a whole five. All right, so let's actually do this. Yeah, let's just do it here. I don't really know. Alright, so... One, two. And then... Um, we'll face it out this way. plates uh, wow and I don't have any over here just got a whole bunch of other build material but never the right one
So yep. Just take it all. Whatever. Okay, so that's the electromagnetic control rods there, but I forgot there's one other machine that needs to do that. Turbo motors, okay. But... What else? There's the wire, wasn't it? Yep. Well, at least this uses the rest of the wire and doesn't need to go anywhere else. So that's nice. So let's go with... So you can come out to... Well, shoot. I do it from here, then it's. Oh, wait, that one. I'm, I'm silly. This is perfect. Okay. So if I snap that on there, I can. Oh, no. Nope. Needs to go. I think just one will miss. Yep. Oh, but that needs to get out of here, doesn't it? Um... Do I want to change? This one. It's going to go out somewhere this way, anyways. So, grab splitter. Not really. Wait. No, that was right. I did need a splitter. I think it was just facing the wrong way. Okay. And there we go. Okay. Now I think I got it. I 
didn't need to lift that up. Silly me. Okay, so that is the why. So everything but the batteries, which <laughs> we're gonna leave till later. So this needs to run to the top. right all right and this is the computers so what else do we need so it's computers we just need the crystal oscillators which I think are right behind me and aluminum casings these ones are easy so let's delete the extra one because these were only using three So, auto save. Oh, sorry if I was quiet. I accidentally didn't know I scrolled the gains all the way down. <laughs> okay, so. Aluminum casings are the only thing out of this mess I need to grab. So let's figure out how to get those over there. Uh, where are they? I didn't put these at the greatest spot to read. <laughs> no, 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 no. Aluminum casings. Of course, it's the one against the wall that I could cannot read to save my life all right so it's that one which is mark three which means pretty sh sure more stuff needed um I could run you know what we'll just keep this, this little thing going oh I should all right so one two what one two and bring it up there we go so now if I snap this on, it's just right next to that one. Change it to Mark 3. And just slam an extra rest of these. And then. Cool. I can run it right next to this belt since there's no merger splitter. So. What else is using the casings? I don't even remember. Aluminum casing, radio control unit, and it's gotta be something else. So it's only using 128. Where's the rest of them going? I know I'm blind, where are they? Ah, the fuse modular frames use 100. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so, and that'll be one of the blenders. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, so let's do, put that there. Splitter. Actually, what? How much? 
64. Of course. Two over, mark one. Is it? Oh. I think I missed that spacing up. Is this. Oh, because I spaced that one out. But this one I didn't, which. I do actually want to do the same. Oops. Got to make sure it's facing the right way. There we go. All right, get our mark to lift. Connects to there. Uh, it goes steel or send that wherever it's supposed to go okay so now that was computers so these next two are the crystal oscillators which means I can uh, where do I want the storage for those I guess in that corner then please tell me crystal Oscillators aren't used all over this floor. <laughs> no, just radio controller units, right? Crystal oscillators. Yeah, only that one thing. Okay, so that's easy enough. So that's actually how them go this way with the. I'll get the merger going. Go to the left. It's not even close and lined up lined up all right and go to the top making a whopping nine total wait did I split this up so that one was making exactly nope that's right yeah I couldn't do that so from here I want to do the same Smart splitter. Stop scrolling past it. There we go. And where are we? Right there. Cool. So let's do straight ahead is overflow. To the right is any. Bring it up to the top. And we're just going to bring these over yonder. Let's see. Let's just miss that output and come on down this way. You know what the funny thing is? 
I really don't need to run this on the ceiling. I mean, I'm going to run the parts of my storage going this way. This is going on the ceiling for sure. But, uh, I lifted up all those belts already, so let's just take advantage of that. Um, yeah, just run it right down here. So this is, wait. So the other option would be I could lift it up. Let's let's try doing something different. So what if we get rid of all of this and that one and then we can bring this to here so that that lines up. This should. Oh, I was a little bit off. Okay, fine. <laughs> so let's try this one more time. So from here, I don't need smart splitter. Regular splitter. Make sure it's marked two. Okay. So now. This is just off. But there we go. I don't even remember what this is. Is this the casings? Yeah, it's gotta be. Okay, so now I can keep this one on the ground. So I can smash that one down there and then this one should go like right here. Oh, I didn't lock it. Where does it go? Right here? Ooh, not even close. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so that goes like that. And then. Oh, what I could do in that. It's not supposed to plug into there. Cool. So let's set up storage container so we can just have that done all right is that gonna go straight in let's see 
Oh, who knows? I can tell by the floor, actually. Yeah, that is lined up. Cool. So, let's run this. If I can grab it. There we go. Can I go all the way? I can. Okay, so let's just grab. There we go. And straight into there. So let's grab our display sign. And I am going to ah, just grab this one. This is, there's definitely a R in there, crystal oscillators. And there should be a whopping five a minute going to storage. Heck yeah. Okay. And this last machine was high speed connectors. Which. Please don't tell me I screwed up something at the very end here. No way. Huh. I think I just remember dislike making them so much that I uh, just didn't use them in other recipes, which cool. Easiest way, one, two, three, four. Bam. So this is high speed connectors, select image. five a minute cool so those are done let's patch that hole up okay so and i think i think that's the radio control units nice so i've already forgot these are the heavy modular frames huh they are Oh boy, this is where I need a whole bunch of stuff. But I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is only going into these two machines, right? Just want to make sure. Steel pipes, yeah, 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 cool, okay, just wanted to double check, that way I don't have to worry about, them going anywhere else, cool, so let's figure out how in the world to get these four pieces out of here. So, <clears throat> circuit boards or heat sinks? Because those would be easy? No, of course not. Copper sheets? No. What's this last one? Copper ingots? No, nope, don't need those either. Well, of course, it's everything on this side, isn't it? Okay, so I need encased industrial beams and concrete. So I need these two right here. And then I also need... 
Wait, where are... Oh, no. Oh, no. There's more things that I haven't built it, isn't there? <laughs> Shit. Concrete smudgers, wires, aluminum casings. Uh, okay, well, I guess we should go find those before we do anything else. Oh, God. <laughs> I forget just how much of a nightmare this looks <laughs> every time. Okay, so I need to find modular frames and the steel pipes actually needed to go back up. So I never I never did that with these, did I? I didn't. And I need to use the second line. Um, okay, well, it works out because I've got more free space to work with over here. Question is, where exactly does this get plugged in? Okay, well, actually what this means is I need to move aluminum casings, I think. So I think aluminum casings need to go up through here. And the steel pipes are going to go up. Okay. So this is going to be... Steel pipes. And I need... 144 of them. Uh, you know what? We're just going to... Give me on two lines. Cool. Okay. So... Uh, it's just easiest right in these corners here. All right, so let's get us a smart splitter. It's lined up there. It's lined up there. So mark five. Mark five. Okay, so none of it's gonna come out that way. want it to go that way and then the overflow will go upstairs and for that we are going to need a mark three because it's 144 I believe this is going to get slotted in this first slot right yep okay so one two and it's going to need Cool. So now we can find. Let's go to the top, bring it down. One, two. One, two. Okay, and where did... Oh, that's right. I was running this one along the top. Which, if it's going to run down here... Yeah, I have to do this. It's got to do that fun little snake. There we go. Oh, 
Okay. So, aluminum casing. Oh, let's fix this sign. Looks silly. Okay. So. Oh, man. All right. Yeah, these are in just awful spots, aren't they? Good intentions. So... Not there. It's going to be there. Which one did I grab? Steel pipes, which is that one. And let's control C. Control V. And there we go. And let's just get rid of those. Okay. So. Now I need to. Redo. Redo this. Because that's no longer the casings. Oh god. Yeah, it goes to the second set, so... Oh, what am I talking? I just go farther. This isn't... Uh, Mark three. All right, so we just end up coming to Mark two. To here. It's just on the other side. Easy peasy. And everything stays the same. Minor switch up. Okay, so now we got the steel pipes figured out, except for missing this one. Okay. So, now the mystery of where are my modular frames? So, quick wire. Modular frames. You're right here. Wait, you... You're going up here, aren't you? You're on this one. Which is... Right here. Wait. Ah, I've created a nightmare. Oh, modular frames. I'm... Am I crazy, or did I just miscopy something? Can I not see it? Is that why? Uh, nope. I did miss it, and clearly we need to move these. Nice. Well, that makes me happier that I didn't completely miss them. Uh, yeah, this is awful. Oh, but I can see from right here. Oh yeah, I got a bunch of these wrong. Or at least just for this like one. Oh, I was copying the bottom ones. Silly me. <laughs> yeah, we'll see how much I miscopied when I like transfer stuff over. That's that's gonna be interesting. Alright, so let's just delete those. All right, cool, that's nice. Modular frames is actually in a convenient spot to get this out of here. So <laughs> I could just run this straight all the way through. Huh? Neat. So 
so yeah, this bad boy is just gonna come. No. Oh, we're here. Cool. So that's that's one. At least I think I have all the items down here now. Or up here? We're pretty high up. Okay, so So that's modular frames. I also need the steel pipes. And then in case industrial beams in the concrete here. Okay, so let's look at the let's look at the bottom ones. So this one's mark one. Definitely need to get rid of those. Okay. So Okay, so I think it would be easiest if I brought them over to the other side of all these. So let's let's make this tile crowded. And we're gonna go one, two. <laughs> yeah, I sure did make this super crowded, didn't I? Okay, so the this one needs to be marked too. Okay, so if I bring this one So that goes there. Can this one go? Perfect. so it's not so close cool so there's the mark one and then mark two built built and down we go Oh, wait a second. Too far. There's the machine. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just leave that one right there. All right, let's bring down the Mark One.
cool. All right, so there's three of them. And let's grab that fourth one. Which one has that one, the modular frames? No, I just did that one. Oh, it's the steel pipes, isn't it? Steel pipes right here. So I think I'll just uh, do a little, a little bridge. Not quite like that. So I don't know. Well, let me go up that high. Oh yeah. Okay. So. Bring it back down to the two height, and off we go. And you know what? Let's go and just bring it over. Side. Cool. Well, now it's all over here, so that makes it much easier. Uh, I know what I could do. That'd be kind of fun. May not be the best way to do this at all, but let's see. Okay, so where's the middle? So that's six. Okay, so so right here. this nope all right is this lined up with this okay so one two three four and then one two Two. Well, easiest to start from the end there. One, two. Oh, you got the nice little line there. Perfect. Okay, so these are all Mark One belts, right? Sixteen, twenty. Oh, seventy-two pipes. All right. Well, apparently. I just do it in half. Yeah, I did. Okay, go on. Okay, so let's figure out how to do. So, yep. I am going to bring these just up and over. Actually, let's just leave that one on the ground. We'll bring this one up. Or, no, these are both going to use lifts, I think. So we'll go down to here.
That's how I wanted it. There we go. So grab the belt. Which one is this supposed to be marked to? So, mark three. So that must mean this one is the steel pipes. For sure. really ran out of reinforced iron plates of course I did all right let's grab some more oh man only 49 yeah it's probably not gonna be enough uh, yeah I have enough enough cargo Okay. Reinforced iron plates. Right, there you are. Yeah, we'll just whatever. Take them all. I'm gonna end up sinking so much of this stuff. It's fine. So I gotta make sure that one's also marked too. The only reason I'm doing this one first is so I can make sure I do that. Or else I'll forget. So I'm pretty sure, let me double check, everything else is, yeah, mark one. Easy peasy. There we go. Nice. Well, it looks cool. I don't think it's for, like the most space efficient <laughs> compared to the other ones that I set up, but it looks neat. Cool. So that's that row. So there's just there's only three machines left to set up. Hot diggity. Oh, and they both need nitrogen gas, don't they? That's funny. Okay, so... 
Okay, so it's the two blenders and the turbo motors, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. So, and he says nitrogen gas, but not. Things really share anything else, right? Between the three of them. Motors? Oh, motors. Okay. And I think that's the only thing. Alright, well. Alright, let's get the gas. Move down here. Uh, we're just gonna run it. Where? I mean, along this line would be the easiest, but I can't see it. So, let's just do that. I got that in the wrong spot, didn't I? Sure did. Okay, so... I'll end it up with the rest of these. Alright. Now it goes. Does this already have gas in it? No, I guess I didn't. I thought I actually hooked that pipe up. I thought it should have gas. Cause I need to oh, there's no train that stopped here yet. Duh. Yeah, there's no gas here. Okay, so put that away. And let's put in the splitter. Junction cross. There we go. So. Is that... Come on. Oh, I can put it on the ceiling? I actually did not know that. That's really cool. 
Holy cow. Well, learn something new every day. All right, and there's nitrogen gas. Neat. So this needs the heavy modular frames and the rest of the aluminum casings. Oh, that's easy enough. The aluminum casings were this one? Question mark? Nope. Aluminum casings. Okay. So, where did... Oh, it's like right here. Ooh. That's really close. Makes it easy. How many do I need? Like, a hundred? Use modular frames. Aluminum casing, 100. So, give me a mark two. And, oh, look at that right angle. Didn't even have to do anything. God love when the spacing just works out. Cool. So that means this needs... Oh, yeah, the heavy modular frames. Which I haven't... Merged. Okay, so I yeah. Okay, so I need to merge them and yeah. I guess we're gonna put storage for those over there because that just doesn't make any sense. All right, so let's grab our merger. So. Oh, wait, yeah, we can just drag this. Yeah, it won't quite go the whole way, which is fine because I need to bring this up to the top there. And there we go. And then we are just going to do that again. And let's run it. Run it down here. And then we'll just run it down this way. Uh oh yeah. So let's do I don't think it actually made sense to ruin it on the ceiling. I've got the space. We're going on the ground. That's what happens when you click too fast. Alright, so let's go to here. Oh, no. I don't want to run into that. Let's go a 
little bit further. Oh yeah, I guess I went way too far. What am I doing? I didn't need to go that far. Where are the... Oh, it's where the lift is. I don't know. <laughs> so yeah, having it run right into the lift is actually perfect. That is where it needs to go. So let's grab the smart splitter. Yeah, actually this is fine. Uh, actually I think, I think that's good. So this connects there. So we want energy to go there, and overflow will be to the right. And this, this is my storage. Can I, yeah, I didn't think so. Can't nudge it once you've like locked it in place, or. one foundation in each direction to move it around. Where is it? Right here. So this is heavy modular frames and uh, not 20 a minute but 10 is still real good I'm real happy with that okay so that gets all of that hooked up and also well, yeah, that one, too. I'll, I might as well just set up this one here. Uh, give myself some space. Go. Cool. So this one here is going to be our fused modular frames. And this is going to pump out a super whopping A minute. <laughs> Heck yeah. All right. What's the other blender? I can't remember. It's so the nitrogen gas, and then I need heat sinks and motors. Okay. Let's just do that one. I 
actually. Oh no, it's hooked up at the bottom. Duh. Okay, so heat sinks and motors. Heat sinks and motors. Heat sinks. Okay. That one's nice. Wait a second. Modular frames. Wait. I thought I already hooked up everything. Oh, what have I done? Which one is... Okay, that one went all the way out. Oh man, now I'm so confused. What did I do? Oh, I sent the motors straight out instead of the modular frames. Okay, so let's... Let's fix this. God. All right. So I'm gonna save. Uh, gives me a second. I'll be right back. turn up the fan it's toasty okay so all right so I need to flip-flop those somehow uh, I think I think what's gonna be easiest is just to I'm probably just gonna need a redo this completely this is what I'm thinking just it would have been so cool if it lined up like that but that's that's just not how this cookie crumbled okay so hopefully I can plug it in there but what I'm thinking is I just need are these both mark one please tell me that would be so much easier yes okay So we're gonna throw down. Uh, actually, that's great. Okay, so actually, that one needs to be too farther ahead. All right, so this brings them um, from out from under there. And then from here, I can um, move them around a little bit easier, I think. I am just thinking now that maybe maybe th this one just goes straight to uh, like here and then now that I'm past all that uh, I just bring it over like this and 
you know, let's just, how far can we go? Uh, all right, let's bring it to the inside of this one then. And then we can just bring it down because, why not? Although, no, never mind. <laughs> I forgot I needed to go over all that stuff, so being elevated actually works pretty well. So it's okay. Not sure why I'm working on this one when I really should reconnect the belt that I destroyed before I forget. So scatterbrained. It's okay. All right, so. All right, I'll plug that up next. Let's go fix this. So modular frames needed to get to this point. Okay, okay. So let's do here to here, and then I'm going to bring it to right here. It's going to be elevated, and then we're going to bring it down, and hope that that is, yeah, going to be just too much. Let's just go that half a tile farther should put it right there all right so now this one Gonna rock and roll until we come back to its belt. And I'm trying to think. Yeah, we're just gonna. We're gonna continue with our, our new one here. And let's. Yeah, we'll go to here. To there. And we'll just there, bring it back down and continue on our journey. And oh, almost. Let's make sure I am replacing the right one. Oh, it seems I forgot to plug that one in. Cool. Okay, so that's the modular frames fixed, and I don't have motors going into the completely wrong set of machines. Ooh, I am curious how many times I've done that throughout this whole factory, because it, that's one of the worst. Is that trying to, once all the wrong parts go into the wrong places, it sucks. Okay, so this one. This is the one we gotta finish here. So this one here needs to get plugged in. Bring it down. Let's see. One, two. Let's see. Yeah, just mark one. Uh, should be on the line. Nice. Okay. So, I've already forgotten. What else do I need? So, that's the motors and heat sinks. Okay. Let's go see about running the heat sinks down here.
All right, so heat sinks. Oh, are like trapped in here, aren't they? Because the circuit boards go all the way around. Ooh. All right, so this is where we go. Like this. Oh, well. Darn. So I guess right here. Yeah. All right. And then over. And then this one is actually going to come way out here. Let's see. Yeah. So we want it to go out this way. And bam. Okay. So from there to there. And let's see. Can we make this? Oh, that's like in the perfect spot. Hot diggity. Okay, so, yep, that's the heat sinks. And they go all the way over. And we're going to come over to... Ah, uh, actually... But if we... If we grabbed one of these... So, this way, I can just have it. Um, at the right height. I don't need to change it again. And I'm just going to run this one. Right along the other one. Which means, since it's on this side, I'm going to have to change... lift but it's a nice and easy fix So those go in there now, and now those ones will. Well, they will. Should be on the middle line. There we go. Once we get the spacing worked out. So that should be everything for the. My whopping two cooling systems. Ooh. Alright, so I don't. I believe those need to go anywhere, correct? Turbo motors are the last things to hook up, and those are just motors. Oh, motors! Whoops. I didn't realize. Oh, man. Oh, wait, no, that's not what I just plugged up. He sinks. No, I did. Oh, man, I'm losing it. Oh, no. All right, so <coughs> let's just get some storage down and so this is
Okay. Nice. Okay, but I'm now realizing that. Why is this so hard to select? Ah, one. Okay. I think I put the heat sinks on the outside. Which I didn't really have. Yeah, we're gonna redo it. Let's redo it. Rip it down. <laughs> all right. So instead, we're just gonna bring it all the way down. I don't like where that's ending up, though. So let's have it go. Yeah, we'll have it run out this way again. So this it's good. Ah, uh, it what? Okay. All right. So now let's run these the inside here. And actually, I forgot. It needs more space because I'm going to run a splitter off of it. So let's run it to... No, that's the same spot. What am I doing? This angle. Okay, so bring it to here. The half way mark, we'll bring it up. Then let's just mirror the spacing. Okay, so now that puts the motors on the like inside so that it will be easier to uh, split, split it off into this. This guy right here. So, okay, so we've got motors pretty much right here. Um, radio control units. You know what? Let's do that because I haven't, I haven't put them into storage yet. So, is that this one? Nope, crystal oscillators. So yeah, it should be, should be this guy right here, right? Radio control units. All right, so one and two. So let's. Okay, so they need to go. Some of them need to go there. So might as well merge them this this way. Let's get our merger blueprint out. And just lock it in place. Ah, that was only one meter off.
so I think I think I'll run um right down this center. No way, I ran out of iron plates again? Holy cow. These belts are pretty long. I guess I guess I can't be too surprised, especially since I'm using a lot of Mark One belts. Do we have any more? I've used like them all up. Man, I, saw, I brought up so much aluminum, thinking I was going to need so much of it, and no, ends up I need way, way more of the lesser ones if I'm using the appropriate speed for how many items are supposed to be on a belt. That won't always happen. In the future, I end up using just insane amounts of aluminum. But for this factory, it isn't surprising when you're in reality I'm making pretty small amounts of most things. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Almost done. Okay, so Right, that's for batteries. I already know what it is. So let's run this one down here. Let's go with this one then. Oh yeah. Just use nudge. One, two, three, four. Way easier than guessing. Okay. So let's put a sign on here. This is Ah, it's right there. Radio control units and ah, was it like two or something? I know I'm not making a lot. Yeah, it's two. Okay, so... Okay, so that's this line, and then... For this... We want to grab ourselves a smart splitter. And... Right there. Make sure it actually spit. Yeah. All right. So overflow is going to be the storage, and we're going to make sure that we send most of them over to turbo motors. So I think I think we're just going to dip below the pipe and do it that way. So let's go to here, and then we'll grab this one, double stack it on this side of the pipe, and double stack it on this side, and then we're just gonna go right back up to the top. Little reverse bridge. I think 
because I don't think any of the other items are coming from this side. So, one, two. What's that? Oh, yeah, definitely got crooked. One, two. Perfect. Okay, so there's the one down. Radio control units. Check. Motors are right here. What else did I need? The electromagnetic control rods and rotors. So rotors are, I think, the last thing. Something else used the electromagnetic control rods, though, right? Yes. The supercomputers, which I think it's this one. So this is probably the electromagnetic control rods. <laughs> As I follow my crazy spaghetti all the way back and read my sign, I'm right. Okay. The only one with a splitter. It kind of had to be, but doesn't hurt to double check. All right. So... This needs to get over here. Oh, actually, that's going to be too far. So, we're right on that line. One, two. Nice. And then, let's do... Let's see. So it's on the middle line. So let's grab the splitter. It's right there. So let's make sure we delete all that and make sure we get a nice solid. Oh, no way. That's so funny. All right. Well, that's okay. We will just. Put one in before. All right, so, and then this shoots out to there, and then this continues on to the cooling devices. Uh, okay, so last piece. Rotors, is that what I'm looking for? Which is probably like the one thing that hasn't been used over here, right? Which... Oh no. Oh no. Don't tell me. They're not even built it up here, are they? Ah! No, they're hiding in the corner. The only one that hasn't been used. I can't believe the amount of things that I put just in the complete opposite side of the factory that would have made things easier. It's, it's impressive. Truly impressive. Okay, so getting this all the way to the front middle. Okay. 
Well, we do have a little tried and true method right here. That if I just grab myself a lift and line it up with all the rest of them. Um, I think that will work. Question mark. So these ones Holy cow, how far do I need to take this? It's that last piece, so I could have it just be on the other side of this thing. So I need to go past that one. And because I am going to have to cross over. Now nah, I'll just lift up at the same place that one is. So right there. Ah, there. Okay, so one, two. Is it going to make that whole... Yeah, I didn't think so. All right, so, so close. Okay, so actually we can just go to the center line and we'll end up right next to it. And then we'll just do the exact same thing here. Nope, it's going to need to be too far there. So there's the rotors. Um, so let's see. Built it up those. Um, I think I did that backwards, didn't I? Yep. Then this way. And that back. Okay. So, I think... this one and then
so close. That would have been convenient. It's just a right angle there. Oh, wow, that's not what I was looking for. There we go. Okay. So then that will take my whopping. Let me double check. Two turbo motors. A minute. And the storage. Turbo motor. Two minute. Uh, right. So, so that's one, two, three. Oh, the supercomputers. I never, I mean, they're not done yet, but uh, I never put anywhere. How many things am I supposed to have in storage on this floor? One, two. I'm making nine different things. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm just missing, just missing the supercomputers in storage, which uh, okay. So they're coming out here. That's the open spot. But I guess so is... I should be able to fit two up here. So, what if we... Let's see if we need to rearrange them at all. Um, that one is pretty much just the straight shot. So, if we, yeah, this is a big enough hole. Uh, we can make this work. All right, so, <laughs> I could actually shoot through there, but that wouldn't make a lot of sense. All right, so, let's just bring it. It's going to be a little bit annoying to fill, but it'll make the most sense if we do it this way. I guess I can just built it by doing this and then how far can you stretch I'll just go to there Oh, it actually can't drop that low. That's interesting. Huh. Whatever. Okay. We'll just go to the very top.
Cool. So let's put a sign on that thing. Super computers. Super computer one word or two. <laughs> I feel like I should know that, but it is two. Okay. Uh, ah, it's because the super state is hyphenated. That's probably what I was thinking of. All right. I am making two. Yeah. Okay. So I think besides setting up the overflow for the awesome sink, I think we're looking pretty good. Uh, not bad. Not too bad. All right, let me use the restroom real quick. I turned up my fan and I accidentally turned it off and I was wondering why is it so hot in here and yeah 
air wasn't moving as good. Okay, so... So the only thing out of all this that wouldn't work is the... Don't have batteries for supercomputers. That's okay. So... Yeah, let's set up the overflow. Because I've got it done on all the other floors. <clears throat> let's just... Get it done. Alright, so... Let's just throw it right there. Wrong side. Overflow. So what is the... I'm pretty sure... <laughs> the total number of items being made on this floor? 35. <laughs> so I can combine every single item on this floor onto one belt and still only use mark one I think that's funny alright so bring this down and we'll just add the mergers wherever we need to so Right there. Looks good to me. Alright, so let's work our way down the list here. And we'll just add a smart splitter right there. ourselves a merger right there and let's set this to overflow to the left right on okay so and then both of these two lines need their smart splitter so we can snap one there and ooh I don't even remember what is this line What is what am I feeding in here? Oh, the heavy modular frames. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so ah yes, that was a smart splitter. Um, so actually, yeah, I can just put this smart splitter before. Like so once it completely fills up. not the direction you're supposed to go cool all right so so let's add the merger merger there and merger. Can I do that? Oh, is there? Ah, I don't want to put it right there. There we go.
Alright, so this one can go straight into there. This one, on the other hand, just needs a lift. Beautiful. So that's one, two, three, four. Four out of the nine. Just to add a bircher right in the middle. So this one's going this direction, so overflows to the right. All right, so let's put, I'll put that one there. This one here. Okay, so smart splitter. It's right on this middle line. So snap right in there perfect and this did split perfect awesome okay so now already did that line right here okay cool so that's one two one two why does it look fun? oh it's curved one, two, three. So we got all four over here. And the only one I'm wondering, is it just, it's just gotta be these ones that I tucked back here, isn't it? So this is, Oh yeah, sending the computers to the supercomputers. Got it, got it. 
Um, I'm trying to think what is the easiest way. Actually, the easiest way is to run it back and run it into those, which, you know, I think I may just do just because I don't have to add more to that nightmare. It's a long belt that'll take forever to sink, but, you know, eventually it's just going to fill up. So who cares? Okay, so overflow. And let's just put it right there. And we'll just run it right on that line. And we're just going to run this all the way down. Uh, oh, actually, this is great, because I can actually just plug it right into the back of that merger. That's beautiful. Oh, you'll love to see it. Holy cow. I think it's all hooked up. I am sure there's just a ton of things that I uh, forgot or just plugged into the wrong thing. Or I know, I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit to uh, to edit. <laughs> How many computers am I making? Probably five. It's gotta be five. Yep, five. Bam. And there's the five. Okay. Holy shit. Almost 92 and a half hours. And I almost have a non temporary base 100 hours into the game. That's pretty exciting. <laughs> Uh, it's so great. You know, let's let's take a look. We've got our priority power switch, which I think I'm actually gonna end up adding another one so that I can separate the drone ports from everything else. So the only things that have really been turned on by the sulfur miners, these are not really going anywhere. Oh, and then it's going to be setting up a million drone ports, and that's going to be a whole nightmare. But until I have batteries, there's no no reason to do that quite yet. But I would, even though, so I really like how compact my little storage area is over there. Because then everything's just in like a really nice compact area. And if I delete this to turn this on, I'll have way more production, but I don't have a universal storage floor on purpose. But <sighs> just means I'll have to like run floor to floor to grab everything when I need it, which. Isn't really what I wanted to do, but at the same time, I really do want to get rid of this. So, is it worth it? Maybe. But part of the problem is if I delete this, some things just aren't coming back on right away. Because the aluminum, I need to reset up aluminum. I guess that's the next project, isn't it? Is it aluminum? Uh, I'm trying to think.
I guess it's gotta be aluminum because Batteries are what really makes this whole factory come alive. And to make batteries, I think I'm really just missing aluminum. Because I've got the plastic production ready to get started. And then there's the copper. Oh, and the sulfur is already here. So yeah, I just need aluminum. So... Ooh. Obviously, there's still a whole bunch of work to do here, but man, I'm really happy that pretty much all the belts are set up. I was really hoping these windows would be cool, but I don't know. The belts look kind of weird. I may end up having to just block off all the belts just for save on lag or something. I'm not sure. Um, uh, yeah. So this is where the batteries are going to come in. But I think I've... <clears throat> I think I've hooked up everything else. Oh, and I do have. Oh, good. Yeah, I do have sync set up for the overflow. What? Oh, that's just what I copied and pasted. I was like, why in the world did these say so? Oh, or wire. I'm not shooting the wire anywhere. So let's just get these. So these should be. Wait a second. Wait, what is this? <laughs> Wait a second. <clears throat> These are the sulfur. Shoot. This is the random stuff. Oh, no. That's right. I don't know what these ones are. Because I don't remember which goes where. One of them's fabric. One of them's packaged. Fuel. Wait a second. Ah, this is sulfur. <laughs> oh my gosh. This is the only one that's sulfur out. It wasn't even the correct one when I. Okay, so one of them's packaged fuel, one of them packaged turbo fuel, and one of them's fabric. I just don't remember which order is which, so I will label them later. Uh, yeah, so I think the... So I did already get started on my train lines here. So I didn't want to do any more belt work. Do something a little bit else more productive. So this line, more nuts. So this train is going to come out here and then come around and curve around to go up here. I'm actually... <laughs> pretty happy with getting that to work and this line is going to curve around and that's the one that's going to go into the battery factory over there 
So the only problem is that factory is in the way where this train line needs to go. But they're going to chug, chug, chug. These are the right ones. Yeah, okay. Need to make sure I didn't use too steep of a ramp because four meters, they don't really go up. So then it will turn around here and then we're headed up to the new aluminum plant. So that is next on the to-do list here. Oh, I didn't even notice. I'm just gonna leave him since I'm spawning in power shards. The slugs can just stay in their happy homes. So, yeah, this little guy is going to get replaced by a beast of a factory. Partially because I don't want to... <laughs> I'm starting off building so high into the ground, off the ground anyways, because I hate the red forest. Really, it's just a pain with how much stuff you have to work around. Even with spiders turned off, it's a pain. So, yeah, it's going to be pretty huge. But I don't think I'll make it multiple stories. I think I can fit everything on one floor. It'll be a lot, but let me see. Oh, it is a shit ton of smelters. Uh, so I'm going to use the pure cater pure aluminum ingot recipe. So I don't want to deal with silica. If I don't have to. All right, so that part's easy. Oh, but then I've also got to figure out recycling the water. Oh. That's 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 a big number of water to recycle still. Uh, all right. Well, I made pretty good progress. I'm happy that I finished building that thing up. So it is one step closer to finally getting turned on, which is fucking awesome. That's going to be a relief. Uh, really, I'm probably pretty close. But just because this needs so many machines, I kind of want to get more of that built before I start turning off the factory that I know works <laughs> for the factory that I'm not so sure works. <clears throat> so um, there's a good chance I'll probably play a bit off stream and start getting the bauxite collected into uh, to that factory. Probably start working on that a little. But if I can, I'll probably try to stream again tomorrow if, if I'm able to. So I just want to say thank you all for watching, stopping by, saying hi. I hope you all have a wonderful Saturday and a great weekend, and I will see you all next time.